Hi everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem basing on one dimension. Let us try understanding what is given in the problem. It is given that there is a balloon. It starts from rest and moves vertically upward with an acceleration g by 8. Be clear that this is an effective acceleration of the balloon. We need not uh, say subtract it with g or need not consider the impact of acceleration due to gravity. All that is taken into consideration it is given that the balloon is having a effective acceleration. So if I assume this is the balloon, this is starting from the state of rest u equal to 0. It is going up with an acceleration g by 8. Now, a stone is fallen from the balloon after 8 seconds. So this is the beginning. This is at the beginning. I am now more interested in knowing what happens after 8 seconds. What is the position is I want to calculate. After 8 seconds, before even the stone falls, where is the balloon is I want to calculate. It must be definitely going to a certain height. I can calculate that height using a formula h s equal to ut plus half a t square. That the height it has gone is h. It is starting from the state of rest. It has an acceleration of g by 8. And it has traveled for a time of 8 seconds. So this is h square. This is g by 2 into 8 is 16. This 8 square is 64. So it has gone to a height of 4 times now. 4g. The balloon is no more on the ground after 8 seconds but has gone to a height of 4g. I am interested in calculating what is the velocity of the balloon after 8 seconds. So I can calculate using a formula v equal to u plus at u is 0, a is g by 8, t is again 8 seconds. So it has a velocity v, of course, in terms of meter per second. So if I have to redraw the position of that uh, balloon from the ground, it is no more on the ground. After 8 seconds, it is at a height h. The value of that height is nothing but equal to 4g. It is moving up with a velocity v. That v is nothing but g meter per second. So here is the balloon now. Now from this balloon, a stone is dropped. That's what he is saying. At the time taken by the stone, when a stone is dropped from it, to reach the ground, right? So from this balloon, the stone is dropped. So here is the stone and dropped at this instant. So until now, the balloon is having a velocity g and the stone being a part of the balloon, that's also having the same velocity. The moment that the stone is dropped, I would like to say velocity of the stone at that instant is minus g meter per second. Why a minus? simply because the instant it has released from the balloon it started moving against the balloon balloon is moving in upward direction but the stone is moving in downward direction so the balloon is going to have a velocity plus g whereas the stone is going to have a velocity minus g now i would like to write this equation equation of the motion for the stone alone let's forget about the balloon balloon is now, not a part of our problem. Let's talk about a stone. So, the stone is at height h equal to 4g coming down with initial velocity minus 8 meter per second minus 8 meter per second 
and once if it all falls on the gravity due to the gravity the acceleration it is acting is nothing but acceleration due to gravity the acceleration acting on it is nothing but acceleration due to gravity there is nothing but g therefore for the stone i would like to use an equation again s equal to ut plus half a t square s is h u is minus gt i want to calculate how much time that it takes to reach the ground a is nothing but g itself and then t square but this h value we have already calculated as 4g so 4g equal to minus gt plus half gt square g is common i can cancel so 4 equal to minus t plus t square by 2 so that is minus 2t plus t square by 2 equal to 4 therefore i can rewrite my equation again i can rearrange my equation a t is equal to t square minus 2t t square minus 2t minus 8 equal to 0 I can write this 2t as minus 2t as minus 4t and plus 2t minus 8 equal to zero. So t of t minus 4 is common here. Plus 2 of t minus 4 is zero. This is how we solve a two-dimensional equation. We have learned it in the school itself. So t minus 4 and t plus 2 equal to zero. So t is equal to either plus four seconds or minus two seconds. But you know, time will never be negative. It has to be positive. It implies stone takes four seconds to reach the ground. To reach the ground. Thank you for watching. Keep coming for more and more video lessons into this. YouTube channel. Thank you.